Angelina Jolie, Academy Award winning actress, Hollywood bad girl, and goodwill ambassador to the UN. It's a resume as varied as a controversial 29 year old's many tattoos. Angelina's body reads like an open book to her soul. Her groin is adorned with the Latin words, what nourishes me also destroys me, while a Sanskrit prayer of protection unfolds across her shoulder. In the meantime, ex-husband Billy Bob's name is slowly being lasered off her upper left arm. Admittedly preoccupied with blood and death, this accomplished actress is the poster girl for the tabloid press. But true to the kick-ass women she often plays on screen, Angelina lets it roll off her back. I don't read things about me and I don't watch those news programs, so I don't actually know. I kind of just live my life and... But yeah, occasionally you hear weird things or you get all caught up, you know, but I don't take it so seriously. Born June 4th, 1975 to Academy Award winner John Voight and French actress Marceline Bertrand, Angelina Jolie should have been on Easy Street. But when her father estranged himself from the family when she was a toddler, Angelina started down a path of tumultuous instability. She was certainly an odd little girl with an interest in knives from a very early age. A bit later, when she was a teenager, she expressed quite an extraordinary interest in mortuary science and expressed the interest of the possibility of becoming a funeral director when she grew up. As a teenager, Angelina didn't really fit in. She was one of the crowd who dressed in goth, always in black. She dyed her hair purple. And really interestingly, for somebody so beautiful, she never considered herself attractive. She wore braces and glasses, and she has said that she thought that she was gangly. Her lips were too big, bug eyes. It's hard to believe all this now, but she really didn't think that she was beautiful. As a teenager, she also got involved in self-mutilation in quite a worrying way. She cut herself with knives and razors. And reportedly, one boyfriend actually cut her along the jawline, and the scar very faintly still remains. I think one of the things that's important to remember uh, that for any child of, who, who grows up in an unstable environment, that there's a feeling of a loss of control. And frequently any kind of self-injury, any kind of cutting, is an attempt to regain that control. Sometimes it's an expression of attempting to get a grasp of a certain kind of pain that may be too great to comprehend in any other way. And by inflicting this pain, 